Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a wireless Xbox 360 controller on your PlayStation 3. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So for this video, we are going to be needing two things. The first of these is going to be a Kronos Max. Of course, I'll be leaving links to this in the description down below. This is a little USB dongle that allows us to use an Xbox 360 controller on our PlayStation 4. And the second thing we're going to be needing is a wireless Xbox 360 adapter. Again, I'll be leaving links to this in the description down below. So what we're going to be doing is grabbing our Kronos Max USB adapter and we're going to be connecting the USB cable on the side that says PC program so we can change the settings on our Kronos Max. So what we need to do is plug our cable in here and then plug our cable into our PC as well. And then we're going to be loading up the Kronos Max software. I'll also be leaving a link to the software in the description down below. Once you have the Kronos Max software opened up, what we're going to be doing is coming to tools on the top. We're going to be clicking on options and then we're going to be coming to the device tab right here. At the very top, we'll have our output protocol. And here we'll have one of two options to choose automatic or you can select PS3. In this case, automatic seems to work fine. And if you plan to use it on different consoles, leaving it on automatic is the best option. So you can easily switch them around and hot swap them. In my case, automatic seemed to work okay. For all the other settings, you can simply copy everything else on screen. All the other settings we use shouldn't make too much of a difference. So the first thing you need to do is have your PlayStation 3 on. And what we're going to be doing is plugging our Kronos Max into our PlayStation 3. And we're going to be looking for the text to flash from A to U as it is on screen right now. You can see it's going back and forth here. And that's what we're going to need to have first on our Kronos Max. From this point, we're going to be grabbing our Xbox 360 wireless adapter. And we're going to be plugging this into the end of our Kronos Max simply into the USB port as I'm doing on screen right now, and the light should come on in your Xbox 360 adapter. From this point, you can simply grab your Xbox 360 controller, and if you've already synced this previously, it should automatically connect to your Xbox 360 wireless adapter, as you can see I'm doing right now at the moment. However, if you need to sync the controller and adapter, you can simply sync it by clicking the sync button on the top of the Xbox 360 controller, and then by clicking the sync button on the actual adapter, Press these together and then they will eventually connect as long as you keep them close enough to each other. And just like that, you should be connected up. From this point, if you have everything set up as I've done previously, your Xbox 360 controller should be working no problem and everything should work just fine. And just like that, you're able to use a wireless Xbox 360 controller on your PlayStation 3. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to use an Xbox 360 controller on your PlayStation 3. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.